First of all, I would like to thank the organizing committee for this kind invitation to talk on this topic. Update on new antiviral targets, excluding capsid inhibitors. Here are my disclosures. Since HPV replication goes through different intermediate steps, it provides us different chances to suppress the virus by direct agents, adding against this step specifically. There are several possible sites of action. First, inhibition of viral entry to the hepatocytes. Second, we can lock down the RNA transcri transcriptional activities. We can also interfere core protein functions to affect the viral encapsulation and CCC DNA replenishment. And this has already, already been uh, excellently covered by Professor Koch-Aguero. Finally, we can consider to inhibit surface engine release from the cells. In the coming 15 minutes or so, I would mention drugs for viral entry inhibition, viral um, uh, uh, RNA lockdown, and also surface engine release inhibition from the hepatocytes. It's, it has been shown that uh, there are agents which can compete with hepatitis B virus for binding the NTCB receptors on the hepatocytes. The trial agent is called Magdudex B or Blue Vertide. The bottom thick left trigger showed the 24 weeks of Blue had no effect on surface antigen. A zone in the bot bottom middle and right figures, adding bivivitide to interferon has no additional surface antigen reductive effects when compared to interferon alone. However, the effect of bivivitide was further studied by combining the original cohorts and new cohorts with extension to 48 weeks, followed up for until um, 70, 72 weeks. It was found that there was no meaningful surface engine reduction in either revivitide monotherapy arm or combination with tenofovir. However, there were more patients achieving greater than one log reduction of surface engine in revivitide combining with uh, peculated interferons compared to uh, peculated uh, interferon monotherapy group. Paradoxically, the best results were seen in the lowest dosing group using 2 mg revivitide. In this particular group, 27% lost the surface engine at week 20, 72. A more promising new agent or new therapy, in my opinion, is viral RNA lockdown by using either sRNA or ASO illustrated in green and yellow boxes res respectively. As illustrated in the bottom white diagram, sRNA degrades viral RNA by weeds in cytoplasm as shown in the green arrow, whereas the ASO degrades viral RNA by RNAH, both in the cytoplasm and nucleus as shown by the two yellow arrows. There are many investigational agents adding on the X open, open meeting frame and or the S open meeting frame of the virus. I will illustrate them to you in a moment. JNJ3989 has two RNA triggers targeting both X and S open meeting frames. The study was designed to give different groups of patients with three, money dose, three monthly doses of this compound. Patients were classified into sustained responders by defined, defined by more than one log surface center reduction at day 392, that is 48 weeks after the last dose, and non-sustained responders with less than one log reduction at day 392. And the responders illustrated with yellow, uh, orange lines 
the median surface tension reduction was around two lungs. Even for study-defined lung responder, the surface tension reduction was greater than 0.5 log at uh, 48 weeks after the last dose. The corresponding RNA log reductions were 1.8 log for responder and 0.4 log for long responder. These two figures show you the E antigen and correlated antigen reduction. Sustained responders had 1.85 logs and 1.4 logs reduction of these two markers respectively. A newcomer as uh, we are 2218 singly targets X open meeting frame, two monthly injections with increasing dose resulted in a dose proportional surface engine reduction. The surface engine reductive effects still continue until 12 to 16 weeks after the last dose. For example, the highest mean reduction of surface energy of more than 1.5 log was achieved in patients receiving 200 milligram at 16 weeks after the last dose. These individual scatter plots demonstrate clearly the dose uh, relationship with maximal surface engine suppression and with similar reductions achieved in E negative and E positive patients. Just presented in ASLD two to three weeks ago, AB729 and sRNA targeting the X open reading frame given at single dose resulted in significant uh, surface energy decline in with the dose of 16 milligram on the left, 90 milligram in the middle, and 180 milligram on the right. Mean declines of approximately one log at week 12 was observed and similar between three groups or three doses. A prolonged uh, plateau in response is observed beginning at uh, week 12 for most of the subjects. Repeated dosing for six monthly doses of AB729 was associated with continuous surface engine decline until the last point of follow up, as shown in the left figure. In contrast, as shown by the dotted lines in the white figure, surface engine started to return after the single dose of AB729, whereas as shown by the wet line, surface engine continues to decline until the last assessment time point at week 20 in uh, patients receiving multiple doses. Another new sRNA, RG6346, which singly targets the surface open meeting frame also showed very promising surface engine reductive effect. The left uh, uh, figure shows the log reduction of surface engine after giving four monthly injections with three different dosages. The white figures shows the uh, surface engine uh, change in absolute values. Patient receiving four monthly injections with three milligram per kilogram would have approximate 1.8 log reduction of surface energy. In fact, with the available longer follow-up time, as illustrated by the blue line, we observed the effect still maintained one year after the last dose. This slide shows the individual and mean maximal reduction in surface energy after receiving either single dose or multiple dose of RG6346. The yellow dots represent E negative and purple E positive patients. The dots with plus sign represent patients achieving surface engine less than 100 IU per ml, including one tumor naive patients in cohort B receiving single dose. There were several others receiving multiple dose having more than two log reduction of the surface energy. In addition, you can see that the responses were independent of the E status. This slide shows a single representative self-resolving ALT flare in a, a treatment-naive patient. Associated with the concomitant reduction 
of the surface antigen and the DNA levels and other biomarkers. The ALT elevation temporally followed the reduction of the surface antigen and HBDNA, suggestive of treatment-induced immune-mediated response. In this group, I have a group B treatment-naive patients. Three out of six patients ex exhibited self-limiting protocol-defined ALT flares. However, the synthetic, liver synthetic and excretory functions were all preserved in these patients. In the loot uh, suppressed patient, receiving four monthly doses, there were no protocol defined ALT flares reported. My last illustration of RNA inhibition is the ASO, antisense oligonucleotide. GSK836, given at uh, with six doses within four weeks, resulted in a very profound surface engine reduction. In treatment naive population, the mean reduction was 1.6 log, and in uh, nucleoside experienced patients, uh, it was 2.5 logs. Four patients from each group, or for both, from both groups, had undetectable surface engine short, shortly after the last dose. Six patients from both groups of 16 patients had greater than three log surface engine reduction. Three patients in the uh, uh, nucleoside and therapy cohort had ALT flares. The time course for each patient is shown on the top uh, thickness. Well, the surface antigen in red and ALT in blue. A temporal pattern was observed with ALT flares initiating as the surface antigen was depleted. A similar pattern of ALT flare following surface antigen reduction due to GX, uh, GSK. Uh, H36 treatment was also seen in a uh, 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 treatment life uh, cohort. An example is shown here in the bottom figure. Here come to the surface engine release uh, inhibitor. Without bothering you the details of the coming two studies, which are quite complex, I just want to mention that treatment with tenofovir plus peculator interfluence plus these nuclear acid polymers with more than 48 weeks would bring 24 out of 40 patients achieving uh, functional cure at the end of therapy. And this was maintained in 14 patients 48 weeks after of therapy. With further follow up and combining more cohorts, functional cure was observed in 18 out of 52 patients. Using a tenfold more sensitive surface engine assay, all these 18 patients still have undetectable surface antigen, and they were all having unquantifiable uh, HPV RNA and correlated antigen. So ladies and gentlemen, I would like to conclude by saying that there are many upcoming novel agents with different modes of action have established their antiviral efficacy and initial safety profiles. For viral entry inhibitor, um, initial positive results on the surface area reduction when combined with um, uh, peculated interferon uh, were, were observed, uh, but we don't see any additive effect or any effect of surface engine when it, it is combined with leukocyte analogs. Further studies are required to confirm uh, this uh, uh, surface engine reductive effects. For RNA inhibition, either sRNA or ASO, they all had a profound suppression of p RNA, surface engine, and other antigens. We also observe a sustained surface engine resp response, uh, but we need to, I mean, understand the dose and the frequency of administration in the uh, near future. Uh, ALT elevation uh, followed surface engine reduction during therapy uh, was observed and more profound in uh, treatment naive population. For leukic acid polymers, initial promising results in S loss at the end of therapy and maintained in the good number of patients and longer follow-up was also, also observed. We also need further uh, confirmatory, uh, confirmation studies to, to, to document this uh, mode of action uh, with this promising functional cure rate. Thank you for your attention.